I bought some bananas. They're green, but I'm not going to die anytime soon, so you know they're okay. And this is some of the bread I had from before. Italian breaded, seeded. That's my favorite. But yeah, we'll start off with the fridge. So here we go. I'm just going to show you guys the basics, you know, the condiments. I just got these. I love these things so much. The olives are great. Some other things. I got a dozen eggs. And actually, this is a really great idea. I never thought about this, but you can find out when they're bad by. So eat them by April 12th, or they're going to go bad. And then down here are some more condiments that I bought. I'll show you guys. I'm actually going to be making this with my camera, my new camera. So it's kind of shaky because I'm not on a tripod, so don't mind that. But the quality really is great. That's Karen. Or no, that's mine. I like Thousand Islands and Blue Cheese, depending on the mood I'm in. And Karen likes honey mustard, which I've never really heard of. But I've heard of it, but, you know, not on salad. But anyways, I figure I'll give it a try. Some cocktail sauce and, you know, some other things. Then, of course, we got the actual fridge, which is, in my opinion, is chuck more than I've ever had in my life. But I'm going to try to show you guys some things in here and not to make it too long. Some OJ, pulp-free, apple cinnamon, uh, so apple sauce that's cinnamon. There's some other juices, more juices. These are my vitamin waters that I love, love, love. But then there was some extras that could not fit because, like I said, this thing is chuck to the maxis. So there's some extras down there. When it gets a little emptier, I'll make more room. Some chicken breast, boneless and skinless. And these are some Italian sausage that I'm going to make some of those for dinner soon. Look at the zoom on that. Well, not even the zoom, but, you know, the focus. That really is good. I really like that. And it's not even on a tripod, so I'm kind of, like, being shaky. A bunch of soda that you probably can't see because it's dark in here. There's no light in my fridge. Actually, this is the second apartment that I've had with no light in the fridge. Well, technically third because I had the same fridge twice. Vitamin D milk, and there's some more juice, some grape juice. Bunch of juices. I love liquids, if you can't tell. The second shelf is, uh, not, none of this is really in, in order. I try to kind of organize it, but yeah. Uh, I love cantaloupe, and then there's some butter, some veggie dip, some chip dip. Way in the back, there's some pickles, but you probably can't see. This is something I usually never buy. I bought, um... What is it called? You know, Wegmans. Wegmans, by the way, is our, like, local store. Wegmans.com. Check it out. That's how you spell it right there. Uh, but, yeah, there's some salad. And way in the back, you can see some extra, uh, what the heck are they called? Baby carrots. And here is some bacon. And behind, under the bacon is some Capri Suns, which I love. More liquids. And I'm going to miss something back there, but I don't want to make this too long. I bought a bunch of yogurts because I want to start eating breakfast and this is another breakfast thing some English muffins which are great Thomas English muffins some cheese sticks because I want to start making my lunches as well and bring them because it's cheaper and then I bought a bunch of like vegetables which I never buy which is really cool because it's good for it and you know it's great These, this is a iceberg of lettuce and then there's some grapes behind it which you probably can't see and some celery and some uh what the heck is it called Broccoli, and this is another one of these things, which I like these, so I kind of want to show it on camera if I can grab it. That didn't show up the last time. Mmm, baby carrots. Yeah, and then there might be something else back there that I'm missing that I can't think of, but I don't know what it is, and I don't want to get into it too much. And then, of course, we got the strawberries, which are, in my opinion, amazing. I love strawberries. And look at the, look at the zoom. Look at the quality of that. Oop, went too close. But yeah, and I'm not even on a tripod, like I said. Oh, and some potato salad, but I might have mentioned that earlier. It looks gross, but it is so good. Oh, I totally went up a shelf. I might have already talked about that stuff. I'm sorry. Here I am, trying to make it faster, and I'm doubling up. We got some real mayonnaise. I don't like that Miracle Whip crap. There's two loaves of bread, because I'm gonna probably be eating a lot of bread. And some bagels, which I think I forgot to talk about the last time. There's some cream cheese in here somewhere. I don't know where it went. Some Parmesan cheese. And then there's some other random alcohols down there, some Malibu and a lot of vodka because I drink vodka and Karen drinks Malibu. But yeah, and then some more rolls and things. But that's everything down there. Make another quick tour of that. Do, 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 do. And then up here is the freezer, which again is probably chock full more than ever. There are some Ego strawberries. And this stuff looks gross, but oh my god, it is so freaking good. It's cauliflower and a cheddar cheese sauce. So definitely check it out if you ever see those. It's so good. I actually bought two of them. Yeah, um, otherwise, this is actually something pretty cool that my mom will be proud of. I bought carrots, sweet peas, green beans, and way in the back you can see the corn. 
which I've never bought before, but I, you know, personally. But I figured, you know, I used to eat it as a kid all the time, and it was super easy to make, so why not? Plus, it's good for you. And there's some beef for my, uh, be or what the heck is it called? Uh, hamburger Helper, which I've never actually made, but I'm going to try Well, I made it once in North Carolina, so I'm going to try again. Some tater tots and some pierogies. I love pierogies. Up here are some Hot Pockets, which I like. And these are some popsicles that I used and some leftover Eggos that I had from before. So let me just put this stuff back and we will move on. Like I said, I really want to make this quick. I don't want to make it over 10 minutes again. And I don't know how long I've been recording because it doesn't tell me. Which I don't like. Up here is a lot of foods. Here, let me step back so you guys can see this all. But yeah, let me talk about it a little bit closer. Cheez-Its, one of my favorite foods ever. And then instant rice, which again, I've never bought, but we used to have it as a kid all the time, and it's super easy to make, so why not? And then I got a bunch of pastas that I've never tried. Well, I've had them, but I've never per per personally cooked them. Rigatoni and ziti, which will be fun. I usually only buy elbows and regular... Uh, you know, regular spaghetti. But yeah, hamburger helper, like I was talking about, a couple cereals up here that fit are Fruity Pebbles and Raisin Bran, which I like both of those. Pancake Mix, which I bought an extra one by accident because I didn't know I had any. Some uh, Ritz crackers and then croutons for the, for the, you know, the salad. Here are some just regular, you know, uh, saltine crackers. And this is pretty cool. I've never bought anything like this before. Well, I did, I think, a while ago. But anyways, Four cheese, mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes. Four things of macaroni and cheese because super easy. And I bought these. This is for Karen because I know she loves it. Banana cream pudding. And I like pistachio pudding. And then some Triscuits up here. And I think I've got everything down there. Up here is more like chips. There's some chips. you got the scoops, the baked lays, which are really good. Traditional cheddar mix, which and I think behind that has something too. Those are some uh, original chip things I have had. I love pretzels, so pretzels, and behind the pretzels are some of these, which are really easy to make and pretty good. And they feed one person like, oh my god, way too much, but they're good for two. Pasta size. They're supposed to be a side, but they really do feed me. Uh, there's some other extras that I've had, you know, extra jelly for when I run out. There's some corn mix and some extra peanut butter, Kool-Aid to make Kool-Aid, extra syrup, extra hot chocolate, and then there's some extra... Uh, what are those things called? Oatmeals and peanut butter. I might have already talked about, but yeah, there's some other stuff. Oh, and some raisin graham crackers. Oh, and this is Velveeta Karen wanted me to buy to try out, so we'll figure we try it out. And then up here, there's some extra pastas for when I run out and some other things that I have extras of. So, there is, again, that. And then, of course, last but not least is this shelf, which I'm not going to talk about this one too much because I really don't want this to be over. But there's quick tour of those and then we'll go a little bit oh and then up here check out the graham crackers biggest box ever that's the cat food by the way well the cat treats that's the actual cat food but we won't talk about that because that's not human food we've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of tuna fish because it's super easy to make and I figured I'd try this out too chicken breast which is like chicken tuna or something some leftover nuts these are really good I haven't had these since I lived at my dad's grasshoppers which are like the uh, you know the mint cookies which I like the peanut butter Mm, one of my favorites, cheese, easy cheese. Pop tarts because I want to start eating breakfast. Uh, there are some real apple and cinnamon oatmeal, hot chocolate. Then there's some hot chili, hold the beans. And then right above it, of course, are the baked beans. Hot chili, hold the beans, baked beans. And there's those again. And some Alfredo sauce for when I make chicken, or fettuccine Alfredo. And down here is like uber galore dinner foods. A lot of spaghetti and meatballs and other Brandon Chef Boyardees. And then Progresso, as you can tell, I love, love, love Italian-style wedding. And I have two versions, traditional and less sodium, which I didn't actually mean to do, but that's okay. And then I got some chicken noodle soup in case I get sick. This is old cereal, which is really good. It's called Puff Rice. I loved this stuff as a kid. It used to be cheap, and my mom bought it because it was cheap, and I still loved it. But Puff Wheat was disgusting. Mmm, grilled chicken sirloin. Not chicken. Grilled sirloin steak. I can't read tonight. And chicken and dumplings. And then down here is kind of some snacky snacks. I've got three things of cereal. Puff, Reese's Puffs, Lucky Charms, and Karen's favorite, Honey Nut Cheerios. And then three things of ragu and some nuts. That's actually almost empty, so I bought Karen another one. She likes the honey roasted nuts. I love pistachios. And then kettle corn and regular popcorn. Love kettle corn, love regular popcorn. But if you want to do it even better, put garlic salt on them it makes it even better so that was the food let me give you guys one more shoot up of this 
Sorry I talked so quick, but I did not want to make this over, you know, 10 minutes.